Oh, something is very wrong with this kangaroo. Oh, no, this, this kangaroo. This, <laughs> this, this kangaroo has haunches and hind legs. <laughs> Go to the vet. You said on the show last week that you felt like AI was in a, a kind of a lull, like between big releases. I have this kind of sense of calm. These things are, are moving at a pace that feels manageable to me. And then like not 24 hours after we finished recording that episode, you were proven wrong. Yeah. Uh, once again, the AI industry kept something in reserve just to spite me. <laughs> <laughs> OpenAI announced uh, Sora, which is uh, a... Uh, what does it mean in Japanese? I believe it means apocalypse. <laughs> comes from the Japanese word for sky, is an AI model that can create videos from text prompts. And we've talked about a number of these previous text-to-video AI programs, but I think it's fair to say that Sora is sort of the most capable model that we have seen yet. And basically immediately, all these clips that OpenAI released from things that were created by Sora started going around on the internet, and many of them went viral. Yeah, this was just another moment where I experienced that feeling of AI vertigo. Like, wow, if you can just type a few keywords into a prompt and get, you know, a relatively long video clip that is photorealistic, very artistic, very beautiful, then wow, what are people going to do with that? So OpenAI has not actually released Sora. This was just kind of a research preview uh, that they put out. No one except OpenAI employees and their sort of handpicked uh, experts uh, or red teamers who are studying this model um, can go and create clips with it. But we have seen a bunch of different clips, including some that Sam Altman was posting on social media that came from Sora. And um, yeah, I was pretty blown away by some of these examples. We thought uh, to sort of give you all a sense of why this is blowing people's minds, we would use another text to video creator called Runway ML, which I think before Sora, people saw as one of the leaders in this space. And we're going to take the same prompts, we're going to run them in Runway ML, and then we'll show you what the same prompt looked like in Sora, and that might give you a sense of just how quickly things are moving in this industry. I think we should say all the examples from Sora that we've seen out there are being generated by people who work at OpenAI or sort of in their inner circle of like trusted red team uh, experts. So these are, you know, basically cherry picked. Uh, they are not showing the most sort of glitchy or, uh, or bad examples of what Sora might be outputting. Even so, I think it's useful just to establish like a baseline for how good these things have become in such a short amount of time. All right, let's pull up the first prompt. So this is from Sora. This is the one that I saw first on social media, and this is actually amazing. So this is a beautiful snowy city. Sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes. Like this could be uh, you know, a drone shot uh, or a tracking shot from a movie. Now we have the same prompt in runway. And I think the main thing that you notice here is just the camera is not moving. It, it sort of conjures up a city, but there's much less motion. Pretty good. Why is he sitting on a cloud, you wonder? Well, that's none of your business. Let's just say he has magical powers, and they will be discussed later in that clip. Uh, why He's is not he sitting on a cloud, on... Kevin. That is not yeah, a cloud. This is a... <laughs> Fact check, false. Not a cloud. <laughs> this is misinformation that we're looking at, literally. This is always will. happening to folks. Yeah. This was an extremely cute video. What does it look like in runway? Okay, that's a very realistic looking cat. Yes. Uh, it's not clear that it is trying to wake up its sleeping owner because there is no owner in this video. But I mean, truly runway ignored 90% of that prompt. So this is from Sora. Oh, this is cool. This is a, a flock of paper airplanes. Weaving around trees. Yeah, this is cool. This is what it looks like when I get emails in response to a controversial column, you know, just a swarm of things <laughs> heading at me. All right, now the same thing in runway. Again, I'm just noticing the stationary camera. The image just makes a lot less sense. They're all flying like three inches off the ground. A hermit crab using an incandescent light bulb as its shell. Very cute. And again, That's the amazing camera moving. To me. Yeah, notice the camera moving. Okay, runway just ignores the light bulb part of the prompt, and we just have like a hermit crab. I mean, that, that's a very convincing video. I mean, like... It, it, yeah, least, I mean, this could yeah. this could be in a movie and I would not suspect anything. Yeah. yeah, Runway really just wants to show, like, nearly stationary objects. Pirate ships battling inside a cup of coffee. 
This is and that's super very cool. good. The physics of this are mind blowing. Like, how do you get yeah. the waves? Okay, again, Runway just says, I would rather not. I per it's the Bartleby of uh, AI video uh, apps. It's just like, mm, I don't think I want them to be in the coffee cup. <laughs> I've always wondered what it looked like inside an ant's nest, and Sora knows. Now you know. Oh. Wow, this ant. Wow. Um... That ant is phasing through matter right now. <laughs> yeah. mm. This is me on my days off. <laughs> <laughs> How'd they get this footage? <laughs> Imagine like working at Pixar and just being able to, you know, whip that up in four seconds. And this just looks like a painting more than a video. <laughs> wow. This kangaroo's got moves. I'm not sure if that's disco dancing, but it's close. Close enough. We'll count it. Oh, something is very wrong with this kangaroo. Oh, no, this, this kangaroo. This, this, this kangaroo. kangaroo has haunches and hind legs. <laughs> Go to the vet. Does it have three legs? It does not have a pouch either. Yeah. That kangaroo, they need to, I hate to say it, Kevin, they need to take it out back and shoot it. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have a movie trailer. This looks like from Interstellar or something. I got to say, a, a wool motorcycle helmet is not going to give you much protection in the event of a crash. It's so true. It's important to say that. All right, so Runway's idea of a movie trailer is just a static image of a man sitting on a motorcycle that's not going anywhere. Oh, here we go. That's really good. Aww. The, the puppy bowl just got replaced by AI. Sorry, puppy bowl. Imagine being able to generate a new puppy bowl every day using AI. And you could actually like make the puppies good at football. Okay. This is one of the better Runway ones, I would say. Although they are moving sideways. They're strafing. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> The puppies are strafing. <laughs> this is me and you. Yeah, this is basically our friendship in a nutshell, is this. Yeah. I'm green, by the way. Tag yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm orange. Okay. <laughs> this, yeah, we should have just showed this when we pitched the podcast in the New York Times. So we're like, it's just this, but as yeah. a podcast. What happened to the orange blobs? Did they die? It, refu it refused to make an orange blob due to racism. This is the green blobs celebrating their victory over the orange blobs in the battlefield. Yeah, there was a terrible war. <laughs> yeah. All right, Casey, uh, what do you think about Sora? I think if I was as an investor in Runway ML, I'd have a lot of concerns. <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> this thing just comes out of nowhere. I mean, you know, I, I did see some discourse around this online that's like, okay, like maybe this is a nice party trick, but what are you going to use it for? I don't know. My sense is this is a legitimate creative tool and it'll be a quick way to do some storyboards, get some ideas going. I, I think you can't underestimate how powerful it is. You know, vi video production is so time intensive, labor intensive. It's expensive to do. This does feel like this is going to be a leap forward for people who make video. Yeah. And I saw a lot of people sort of reacting to these clips on social media saying like, you know, RIP, uh, you know, directors and, uh, you know, cinematographers and, you know, people who make commercials like this is going to basically destroy all those jobs. And I, I think that's a little overblown, probably. Um, there's still a lot of limitations on this stuff. And I'm sure if you look closely at some of those samples, like maybe the ants have the wrong number of legs or maybe the flag <laughs> on the pirate ship is is like not blowing the way that it would. Like, I'm sure for, for like the most exacting uh, you know, filmmakers, this these kinds of tools are still not where they would need to be to be useful. But I got to say, for like your average everyday sort of video creation for things like commercials, I can see this stuff being very useful very soon. I don't know. Do you think that should make people worried who have jobs in the film industry? I mean, again, video production is so intensive and you need to be able to edit these things, right? Like, I can't imagine anything we just saw as cool as it is. It's not like you could just use that as a commercial for something, right? Um, and the way that this stuff is generated actually makes it harder to edit. Like, as impressive as this was, Kevin, it is so much easier to edit, like, a video than to go back into a prompt and be like, uh, can you make sure that the ant has the right number of legs? So I think there is a lot of frustration that is in that process if you were trying to use this professionally. And at least for the moment, it feels a little bit more like a creative partner, something to get ideas going, than it is something that's going to cost someone their job. But what do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think this is going to be 
pretty transformative from less for sort of the big budget like hollywood productions and more for things like social media like how many you know influencers are going to be using this stuff to i don't know uh, make it look like they're dancing on the moon or you know or make it look like they're uh you know they're they're lifting some huge heavy object or something like like i just think that there's going to be a lot of applications for this um in the near term when it comes to social video um but I think you're right for the for the big budget Hollywood productions like they're they're still going to need something that gives them more control. But you're also right. I mean, I made a TV show uh, years ago and like just to get some some of these sort of like what they call establishing shots, like the shot of a building. Right. Or like a slow pan down a street or, a, you know, a, sh a shot where you're you're tracking a car on the highway like y those require like big crews and gear and and you know, expensive cameras and like, you know, they, they can cost a lot of money. And I think that all that just gets much easier in a world where you can just type stuff into an AI uh, model like Sora and get back a pretty convincing, maybe not perfect, but pretty good uh, video out of it.